Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today is another installment of maybe my favorite series uh, on this whole channel and definitely the series that I get the most tweets and comments and stuff about. Um, you know, when am I going to make the next episode? What's going on? Or people want me to make the videos. Uh, that's of course the Is Finished series. And today we need to talk about the fact that TSM is finished for 2022 uh, and they might even be finished for the foreseeable future. Um, obviously, coming into this split, uh, TSM had finished tied for last place uh, in the spring split, but coming into summer, there was reason to have some maybe renewed hope. They still had a uh, absolutely elite level player in Spica. They were bringing in Maple, who was sure to be an upgrade over the other mid laners they were using. Uh, maybe we were going to get a full split of Shani, who is still uh, potentially a blue chip prospect player. Who need tactical, still very good players at their best. Um, I don't think anyone was really picking TSM to go to Worlds, but people were picking them to maybe be a dark horse maybe a fourth fifth best team in the LCS that type of thing um and uh yeah after this past weekend really none of that is happening and TSM's in a bad spot uh and they're finished that's what we're going to be talking about um so first we can just take a look at the overall LCS standings we are now Three weeks through the LCS season, we are seven games out of 18, so we're like 40% through the LCS season or something like that. It's, you know, we're not quite at the halfway point yet, um, but we've seen every team play most of the other teams in the LCS. It's still possible that you've uh, gotten to play more weak teams and good teams, or you've dodged some of the best teams or whatever, um, but, uh, you know, we go to the LOL Esports website, and uh, you're looking at the standings, and... You know, hey, first, second, third, fourth, EG, TL, 100 Thieves, kind of normal, CLG, FlyQuest, C9, they didn't have their regular team, Golden Guardians, and then at the bottom, you can see TSM just peeking their head up, like, hey, hey guys, what's going on up there? Uh, hey, how's it up there in the standings? Super, super funny just how the, the website uh, looks when you first click on it. So you just got to scroll down a little bit further and you will see TSM there, uh, not even in eighth place, tied for eighth place with Dignitas. So yes, at this point in the season, in some ways, hey, this is an improvement for TSM. They were tied for ninth in the spring. Now they've climbed all the way up. You know, they they signed Mia. They signed Maple. They're ready to go. Spika started out the year playing really good. Hey, now they're tied for eighth. This is progress. At, at this rate, uh, you know, in spring of 2023, they might be tied for seventh. And by summer of 2023, they might be able to make the playoffs and get knocked out in the first round. This could be, you know, the start of something really, really special for TSM. Um, but yes, this is really, really rough. And to be fair, uh, I think it's really funny because, um, you know, TSM finished tied for ninth uh, in the spring, but they had uh, beat Immortals twice, I think. So everyone was like, oh, hey, TSM actually finished ninth. They didn't finish 10th. They finished ninth, but they had the tiebreaker over Immortals. So Immortals was 10th. TSM was ninth. Let's go, baby. But right now, TSM and Dignitas are tied for eighth in the LOL Esports website is actually putting TSM above Dignitas, despite the fact that Dignitas has a head-to-head -head against TSM. Dignitas, Dignitas quite literally just beat TSM. Uh, and obviously that would, um, you know, make TSM be below them in the standing. So if you want to get technical, if you want to say TSM finished ninth in the spring and didn't finish tied for ninth or tied for last or 10th or whatever, then right now TSM is in ninth place uh, in the LCS once again, exactly where they were last split. And this is obviously very, very concerning. Um, TSM started out the year okay. You know, they, they probably should have won this game against 100 Thieves, um, you know, this was a good looking game. Maple looked good. Speaker looked good. TSM looked good. Yes, they did end up throwing. Um, but hey, 100 Thieves is a good team. That's not a bad loss. If you almost beat 100 Thieves in a lot of ways, that's a good thing, especially coming off the last flip. Then they lose to CLG. Uh, you know, we get all the Reggie memes and stuff renewed again. But hey, CLG won a couple games. Maybe CLG is a good team. Maybe it's not that bad of a loss after all. We're getting into that territory of cope. Um, and then they beat Immortals. Hey, we got to win. They beat Team Liquid. Two-game win streak. Now we're, uh, you know, getting something going. We're getting something running. Um, but now come to, uh, you know, here this past weekend, Han Sama said last weekend he was having, like, mouse sensitivity issues or something weird like this. Also, Team Liquid just didn't look that good. You know, they lose to TS. And then they almost lose to FlyQuest as well. So was that as good of a win for TSM? I don't know. But either way, they then rattle off three losses in a row to Golden Guardians, who is a bottom five team in the LCS. Evil Geniuses, this was an absolute stomp, not even competitive at all. And then a loss to Dignitas, who again was a one win team coming into the year. So yes, TSM does have two wins. One of them is against Team Liquid. One of them is against Immortals. And they also have losses to Golden Guardians and Team Dignitas. Despite the fact that they started the year good, 
despite the fact that they beat TL, despite the fact that they maybe should have beat 100 Thieves, there's no way around it. TSM is a bottom four team in the LCS right now. Again, they have lost to Golden Guardians. They've lost to Ding Tots. You can blame it on their drafts. You can blame it on this excuse or that excuse or whatever. This team is is just not a good team in 2022. And it's interesting because coming into this split, and I even tweeted this out, I was hyping TSM up a little bit. I was getting excited for them. I thought they ended the spring good. I thought Shenny was actually looking pretty good. I thought Maple was going to be a monstrous upgrade over Kaiduo and TakeOver so big that TSM would for sure be able to move up from where they were. But this team is still having so many of these same issues. And I know Parth tweeted something like this out. He's like, man, it is so sad to watch TSM these days. I cannot even watch them consistently play worse than the sum of their parts. And that is absolutely the case. This team on paper is not the ninth best team in the LCS. This team on paper is more talented than Dignitas, is more talented than Golden Guardians, is more talented than CLG, is more talented than a lot of these teams that they are losing to. Uh, and some of that is the players maybe underperforming, making big mistakes, doing whatever. But so much of this, this has been my whole thing for the last couple of years, even maybe dating back to some of the times where they had Bjergsen in the mid lane, the management, the coaching staff, the environment, everything that is going on is really, really bad on the TSM side. And there's no way around that. The TSM teams, they never play even up to the sum of their parts. They always underperform the sum of their parts. Uh, and is it just the fact that every player, uh, you know, is it just per chance that every player that they get ends up being worse than they were on other teams or worse than people thought they were going to be? Or at some point, you have to blame the finger, uh, you know, and point the finger at the environment and the management, the coaching staff, and everything else going on around TSM that has these players in this position. Is it, um, you know, a toxic environment? Maybe. It sounds like allegedly that's, that, that's, a, that's a possibility. Seems like last spring was really, really horrible behind the scenes. And who knows what other stuff we haven't heard or haven't known about because TSM, uh, you know, is really, really secretive, keeps things really tight uh, under lock and key and all that stuff. Um, and and just there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. For TSM, like I said, tactical, uh, not tactical. Speaker and Maple looked like a really, really awesome duo to start the year. Um, Huni has looked okay at times. He's he's won some lanes hard. He's looked good, but then he has some really, really random, bad, weird plays. Mia had the really one really, really good game against Team Liquid, but hasn't really looked great since that. I haven't thought. I can't believe Shenny is not getting an opportunity to play at this point because again, I thought he looked good at the end of spring. And I thought TSM looked good at the end of spring. They're actually looking more competitive in games. They're actually winning some games. Some of those were off the back of plays made uh, by Shenny. And he's their big free agent that they spent all this money on. So now this is an absolute disaster that TSM, like Reggie said, spent over a million dollars on Kaido and Shenny. Kaido leaves after one split. Shenny might as well be leaving after one split because there's I don't think there's any way he comes back next year. Uh, and it doesn't seem like he's playing in the summer split at this point. Uh, it's just so, so much weird stuff going on. Uh, I also tweeted this out. You know, I said, hey, weekly tactical oof tweet because I I'm just like a broken record. Every week I'm tweeting about like, oh, tactical, you can't die there. Tactical, you can't do this. Tactical, you can't do that. Um, the, the one that I tweeted about this week was this play uh, against Dignitas where, um, you know, th this is this is 13 minutes into the game. TSM has a 1,400 gold lead. Things are actually going pretty good. Good. They got two Drakes. This is a very, very good early game so far for TSM. Now, I'll put an asterisk by that and say, um, you know, they have Callista Renata bot lane. They have Nar, who's arranged into a melee Gragas in the top lane. So they should be winning this early game. Um, but hey, you should be winning it, and they are. Um, now they need to convert this lead into, you know, blowing the game open by 15 to 20 minutes. Otherwise, your Callista comp is probably not going to, you know, be better than a Yumi Zarya Zir uh, later on in the game. So TSM goes into the, to the uh, bot side jungle of Dignitas and they, uh, you know, try to make a play. They're trying to get a uh, red buff invade. Spikas wants to steal us away from River, but here's River, here's Biofrost, here's Neo. They decide to fight back um, and whatever. Spika and, and Mia, they're able to get out, but then Tactical decides to go back in for the red buff. He has to cleanse away the exhaust. He has to flash over the wall. He doesn't get the red buff. Uh, it looks like he might be out here but he does end up getting run down like what is tactical doing here and i know some of the casters were saying this too like even if he went back in to steal the red buff while his team's walking out they're on different pages whatever even if he gets the red buff he died so he was gonna die and lose the red buff anyway he loses both sums and ends up dying they don't get the red buff that's a time where they had again a gold lead and now he's not on the map he's not farming up he's an early game champion yeah i get maybe you want to be aggressive maybe you want to push your leads or whatever but your team got turned on. You know, they, they Yumi ulted. They used a lot of stuff. You guys could just walk out for free, walk out fine. 
but they don't. And that's just, it seems like every game or every week, Tactical's doing something really, really weird. Uh, and, you know, he always did that stuff on, on Team Liquid every once in a while, too. But it seems like, uh, you know, obviously Team Liquid's not as good of a team as TSM, so you can't get away with as much. Um, but also just overall kind of a, a weird, bad play. Uh, and then I also thought that this play really is kind of summed up TSM season uh, really, really well. Um, you know, they're, they're, uh, Dig decided to start up the Baron. The Huni has TP. Maybe they're just trying to get Huni's TP out or whatever. Um, but TSM's coming in from the bottom side. Dignitas all kind of bunch up in the Baron. Um, they have a Gnar that is already Mega Gnar. He's like half health because he just soloed the Dragon. Um, and he decides to TP onto this back ward here. Dignitas just turns on him and TSM just kind of AFKs. Like, what is the call there? Um, hey, Huni, TP and we're just going to watch you die and hope the other team doesn't die. Why are we having Huni TP at half HP if we're not going to very, very... Um, you know, aggressively fight it. If we're not going to very, very aggressively fight it, why not have Huni TP maybe into the Baron pit, maybe somewhere else? Um, I don't know, but it, that's just you know, the kind of plays and stuff that TSM has been making, uh, it seems like Huni has one kind of weird, random, bad flank, uh, or an almost flank, like every single game, because I know I tweeted that out last week as well, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't really think there's any hope, uh, left in the summer split for TSM, um, hey, eight teams make the playoffs, maybe they'll make the playoffs, maybe it'll be the six, seven, eight seed, something like that, but I assume they're gonna get knocked out early on in the playoffs, uh, Speak is a free agent, Huni's a free agent, uh, who knows what TSM's gonna do, are they gonna re-sign these guys, you know, Reggie wants to keep talking about, oh, I'm gonna sell my house, my car, all my clothes, if we're ever, uh, you know, as bad as CLG or whatever. Um, well, again, you take a look at the standings. Uh, CLG is actually two games up on them. CLG is uh, fourth place. You are in ninth place. Um, this is after CLG finished above you last split as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I came into this split giving TSM a chance once again. But uh, yeah, this org just continues to mismanage everything. Uh, they continue to have weird, stupid stuff. They continue to say weird, stupid stuff. Um, you know, Dunk continues to, to just put out weird stuff, talking out of his ass. Like, I, I don't know. The whole thing is just really, really weird. I don't hate TSM. TSM, the players, you know, I, I like Speaker, I like Tactical, Maple's been fun to watch, I want to see him do well, um, but everything else going on around TSM uh, and how they treat people and media and all these different things and, and just how they like lie and say weird stuff, um, just, I don't know, I'm not necessarily upset that they're towards the bottom of the standings once again, uh, and again, people who say, oh, you're a TSM hater, blah, 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 it's like, no, I just said I hated what TSM did in this past offseason, I said they were going to suck. And they have sucked. If that makes me a TSM hater, okay. Maybe I should have said, hey, TSM's going to be great this year. And then everyone would clip that and say, hey, you're an idiot. You know, they finished bottom four, both splits, and you said they're going to be great. No, I said they were going to be bad. They have been bad. Uh, and, and I don't know. Hey, if you're a TSM fan, I get why you're upset. I get why you're mad, whatever right now. But you don't got to take it out on me. TSM is finished. And are things going to get better in 2023? Who knows? But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about TSM right now. You think there's hope for them in 2022? Do you think there's hope for them in 2023? Or do you think it's going to be even longer than that? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.